Ostrich Stories is a two-mile trail through the Ronva. Formed by linking Ernest Saboli's paintings to the streets of the Ronva, it starts in Partridge Square, Cluena Pier, and works its way in and around Ustrid Ronva before ending at Penrice. Tell me a story Of ribbons of houses Of green hills and sunshine The power of this countryside The family is the people Who built it to what it is Of children painting on the ground Of valleys so deep they're going down once, when we were going through the Drakensberg Mountains, we had fabulous vistas and scenery to take your breath away. And beneath the puffed white clouded sky, the tree bloom slopes of Glencornor, covered in snow, is dissected by the new road. Ernest Saboli was born and lived in Ronva and painted the ordinary street scene and the extraordinary landscape and the trail reveals these places in the stories written by the people of the Ronfa. It was a sunny but cold morning and the street was busy with mothers, some fathers too, but mostly mothers, taking younger children to school, older children going in small groups to the big schools and busy early morning traffic. I recall those halcyon days when visiting my family at Anasir and trudging up the never-ending hill to wait by the playground railings with other mothers, fathers and, like me, grannies. Apart from the maroon-red Ronda buses, there were few cars. People walked the roads, would meet and chat or gossip in no particular hurry. The stories are inspired by Ernest Saboli's paintings and uncover the histories, memories, and fictions of the valley and its people. From childhood I recall the trees would bow their branches in respect as the wind whipped the mountainsides. You can follow the Ustrid Stories Trail too by downloading the iBook or audio guide and map from the website and experience the paintings and stories while immersed in the landscape of the Ronva. We are these hills, their power is ours, and we will stand tall and together. To actually be here and walk where Saboli walked, to see what he saw, and to feel, to feel the wind on you, and the past of the Rhonda around you, who's making its way gingerly to the future.